Nurse collapses. Her young son calls 911 for help. What happens next is now the focus of a lawsuit. Tonight, you'll hear the 911 recording and learn how a call for help went to the wrong jurisdiction. Here's KCTV5 investigative reporter Angie Racono. When you call for help, every minute, every second is precious. When you lack oxygen, your brain starts dying. The family says what happened here is too much time was lost during a call for help. It's tough to listen to, and it's more than 20 minutes long. Kansas City 911, call take your 102. <laughs> okay, so. I'm sorry? I'm, I'm only a child with my little sister, and my mom's lying on the ground, and my dad's out of town. Okay, do you know your address? Um, let me just go outside. I live in Prairie Village, Belinda Avenue. You live on what? <laughs> Prairie Village, Belinda Avenue. Okay, okay, hold and on. Go ahead. My house number is 9347. 9347? I mean 7347. One minute, 10 seconds into a 911 call, 8-year-old Joel gives his home address. Okay, yes. I'm going to go ahead and get you over to ambulance. Stay on the line, okay? Don't hang up. Okay. It will take 11 to 12 more minutes before an ambulance is dispatched. In Prairie Village. Uh huh. That's Johnson County, though. Right, right. Uh, so I'm not sure. Is she the address she said she sees on the house is 7347. So are you still on the line, honey? Yeah. Mapping software reveals the call is coming from another location. That's within walking distance. A decision is made to call an adult. Joel's dad and Catherine's husband. In the meantime, no one sends an ambulance or police in that general direction. Minutes roll by. Hi, this is the Kansas City, Missouri Police Department. Who am I speaking to? Frank gives the address again. It's the same one you heard Joel give. This is five minutes, 40 seconds in. Okay, and you say that's Prairie Village, Kansas? Yes. Um, I, I don't know. He said his mom fell on the ground and is laying there. She is not awake. So we're trying to, we've got him on the line with EMS. We just needed to verify the address. Oh, Jesus. At this point, both Kansas City Police and Fire are involved in the call. Joel is giving information about his mother. Do you know if your mom takes any medications for anything? I don't know what medications mean. And I want you to tell me if you can feel her breathing. Her head's under a chair. Now listen to dispatch. The address is going to be 7347 Belinder, and that is in Prairie Village, Kansas. 7347 Belinder, B-E, mm -hmm. spell that for me. B-E-L-I-N-D-E-R. Okay, and have you guys already gave the call over? Uh, yeah, I was online with the EMS there. They're online with the child. No, I'm asking since it's in Prairie Village, have you already no, contacted them? No, I haven't done anything. Nope, nope. Okay, no, and you're calling from PD? Yes. Do you guys have a phone number for their EMS? Um, I don't, let me see if I've got, I don't know if we have their EMS. Okay. Mm, I just have their we, PD line. We do too. We will, let me see. No, we don't. We will probably send over to the, oh, sorry. Try to get their, their PD. Let me see, the address. Yeah, we'll probably send it over to Kansas to, to leave what I believe. Catherine is on the floor. Nine minutes have rolled by. Prairie Village, please. Hello? Oh, sorry, muted. Okay, this is Nicole with Kansas City Fire. Hello. We have a call. Uh, 1747 Blender, you guys have that. That's the wrong address. 1747 Blender is not in Prairie Village. What address did they give you, Brittany? 7347 Blender. Okay. <laughs> 
And what was the... Uh, we have a child caller on the phone. It sounds like it might be a... His, his mom's passed out, so we don't know if she's, like, just passed out or if she's deceased. Husband's supposed to be Joel. It's actually Frank who would later tell his kids their mom uh, died. She was really just a good and caring person. And you guys ordered med already? Uh, I'm going to double check, but I think they did. They didn't, so the call continues. Right, we are more than 12 and a half minutes into the call. Seven, three, four, seven. Remember, seven, three, Joel four, gave the address one minute, 10 seconds in. Checking on the 7347 Belinder, just to make sure you guys have that address. I don't have any calls there. Okay, can we get you going with this? The lawsuit says the key moment where an ambulance is sent took place 11 minutes into the call. KCTV5 calculates it closer to 13 minutes. I couldn't account for the delay. I didn't know why, what caused the delay. Frank McClellan says doctors wanted to know timetables as the family began making tough decisions. So he asked questions and eventually requested the 911 recordings you just heard. Is Getting them time? there, that's it, that's it. Once, once they were notified, they were there within a very, very short, you know, a very short amount of time. The lawsuit alleges if the regional 911 system worked correctly and an ambulance was dispatched efficiently, Catherine would be alive. She was ultimately revived. Her heart was started again after ambulance finally did get there after almost 20 minutes. Her heart started again, but it was too late. Her brain had died. Catherine was removed from life support and became an organ donor. When I listened to the call, I, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. She was calm, he was articulate. I've told him since that time that <laughs> he's my hero. Joel, are you still with me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Do you see the police? Are they coming into your house? Yeah, they're in here. Let me talk to one of the officers. Is there one there I can talk to? Hello? Hi, this is Carrie, Kansas City, Missouri Fire Department. I just wanted to make sure you guys were aware we do have Johnson County Medic on the way over there. Okay. Um, thank we, you. Yeah, we didn't really know what was going on with him. Okay. Yeah. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Good luck. Thanks. Bye bye. We reached out to those named in the lawsuit, including the city, fire, and police departments. They all declined to comment. Our investigation continues online. We are asking for your help. If you've had a concern with 911, let us know. Angie Ricono, KCTV5 News.